Okay, let's look at the next tab, which is the sweep generator. Uh, the sweep generator has a number of different fields in it. It's sort of the things that you would expect to see from any sweep generator. You have a start frequency, a stop frequency, a step time, and the step size. And you also have a sweep once control here and a sweep continuously control here. So that's going to operate pretty much like any sweep generator that you've ever seen. All right, so what I'd like to do is start the network analyzer, which is a very interesting uh, accessory to this whole thing. So I'm going to click on this. Um, but before I do that, let me stop for a minute and close this because the way that this works is that the sweep generator uh, input settings here are taken over into the network analyzer. So you really have to do these first. So I've, what I want to do is, is um, change some of these values right now because I want to sweep my little RF circuit here from 100 megahertz to 300 megahertz. And I want a step time of about 250 milliseconds per step. And I want my step size to be 1 megahertz. Okay, so this is how I want my graph to be set up. Now, notice when I click the Start Network Analyzer, put it down here and stretch it all out, that the axes are going to be labeled automatically, just like how I got it started here. Now, the first thing that we need to do with this, in order to make this work, is we need to run a CAL on it. And notice the controls all the way over here to the right. There's take CAL data, CAL on, and some other ancillary controls for holding the trace, uh, saving files, and so forth, and automatic Y-axis. And then down here in the lower left-hand control or corner, there's the run stop control here, and there's also controls for turning your markers on and off like that. I'm going to turn the markers off because I want to draw your attention to the white line at the top there. Uh, this is the uncalibrated uh, response. So in order to cal the system, you attach a, a good quality cable from the RF generator output to the RF power detector input directly. And you click on the button, take cal data. It, it only takes a second to do this. Then the next thing you do is you click on cal on. And you notice that the corrections have all been entered, and now we're operating at a response of 0 dB, which is flat across the band. So now I can stop this, and I can connect up my little RF amplifier and see what happens. So this will just take a second. Now this is an amplifier that I just cobbled together to have something here. It's not been designed with any rigor involved at all. It's just something that will pass some frequencies through it. So don't laugh. Anyway, so I'm going to run the thing now that the amplifier is in there. So this is the response of the thing without any power on the thing. So let's turn the power on and see what happens. Came up a little bit and then we can increase the the input into it like this to see what its response is. So it, it amplifies a little bit and we can even turn on the auto y axis and, and get a different or a highly detailed response curve right there so that running from minus 7 to minus 17 dB. So at any rate that's, uh, that's the, re the network analyzer part of this whole thing right there and of course you can save the file and uh, you can hold the trace and so forth like that see see where everything was so that's just a brief demonstration of that it's a very nice feature I think cut. so that's a cut <laughs> okay I forgot